Passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground, or just left lying around in someone's house. I bet the two of us, we're very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. I knew you looked like a clever one. With the war, many more ships come through these docks, loaded with weapons and pay, but few people, and they pass through dangerous waters. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in, but if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do something like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, I could certainly direct them to that loot. Hello, this is a guy here giving you a Skyrim walkthrough called Lights Out. Here, as you've heard, we're now tasked with taking out the lighthouse, but since I didn't discover the lighthouse, it's going to take me a long time to get there, so I'm just going to cut it out. Here, we're at the, here we are at the lighthouse. All you have to do is simply go up to the top of the tower and take out the lights, nothing else. And uh, note this, that if you have not discovered certain location, you're going to be walking or running throughout this entire quest. So yeah, so... Here we got the lighthouse. Just press E on it and just fast travel to 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 the state to the farm to meet up with the quest giver. It's not that far. You just simply run all the way there, and he'll tell you what to do next. Looks like you had no trouble. The effects have already been felt. The ice runner has failed to dock on time. Without the lighthouse, the ice runner would have swung wide at the western shoal and run aground on the eastern coast. My sister Deja will be at the wreck with our Black Blood Marauders. She knows to expect you. He pointed us out where to go. Let's go there, but unfortunately I did not discover it. But thanks to the magic of edit editing, I'm right here. And his friends are supposed to greet you to tell you that Deja's downstairs in the ship, but unfortunately they have an idea that kill all mud crabs. Wow, they really do hate mud crabs. Let's get inside. Okay now, okay, now that we're inside, we could do something because there's a bunch of suspicious marauders in here. So we have two options. We either kill them all before we meet Deja, or just simply go up and straight meet, meeting Deja. I'm suspecting she's not trustworthy, so might be prepared. My brother told me you were coming. I'm supposed to give you what you earned. Ah, I'm afraid the loot's already been moved. You've been useful to the Black Bloods, though. You've earned a quick death. Where are you? Now that we killed her, it's time to loot her corpse and uh, take the note to update the quest. The note leads you to Broken Ore Grotto. I'm gonna, you may want to pause the video to read the note, although it's short. Okay, now that we read the note, it's time to head out, but know that all Black Blood Marauders are no longer friendly to you, so it's best to just kill them at the back of that guy. Time to head out, and turning to your right, we see that there's one standing and guarding the door right there. He seems smart not turning his back around like the other guards I've been used to. I'm using the f Frenzy spell to attract his attention. Seeing that he turns around the corner, but he's turning away. I need to get his, use his, uh, use the arrow of the whisper to know where he is. And, uh, he's uh, good. He's coming back and still trying to grab his attention. And yes, now he's turned his back to see the backstab. Now that he's dead, it's time to head out. 
I'm still waiting for the uh, West Protect Fidelity to cool down, so so it's gonna I'm gonna have to wait here for a bit. After that, uh, I'll use it again to know that how many enemies there are in the building and, and wait wait for it. Lost. There we go. There's two enemies. One's behind a closed door, so I could ignore safely ignore that one. And there's one over there heading straight to another room, which I decided just to kill him off. And save now it's safe to go out back out. Or is it? Nah, it isn't. There's like a bunch of guys out there, so I'm just gonna do what I always do. Run away. Yep. I'm just gonna run away. Come on, run away, dude! Come on. There we go. I'm running away, running. After that, it's time to head straight to the Broken Ore Grotto, so... But I can't fast travel due to the end of the year by enemies, so yeah. And I'm just gonna cut it out to the Broken Ore Grotto, really. It's gonna take a while to get there. Now that I'm here, it's time to go into the cave. Here we are. This is like any other generic dungeon crawling cave, so... You do do all that exploring for 20 minutes, which I will not record because... I like making short videos, so I'm going for a stealthier approach to instead assassinate the guy that tried to kill me. And here we are. Let's begin. Now we're here. I'm about to get detected, but just roll away. And, uh, oh yeah, yeah, see you there. I'm about to get detected, but I know this guy, so I'm going to ignore that comp. Ignore those guys and just oh, to prevent him from detecting me. There we go, backstab there. Let's what? Okay, I'm just going to ignore that, and let's head up to where the target is. There's two other enemies here. I guess simply, I'm going to kill that target to make sure he doesn't detect me. And go for the other guy, but instead of killing him, I'm just going to frenzy him to get him to draw out the target and the boss captain that was in there as well. And let's see. Nothing's happening, so I just use the Aurora Whisper to see what the hell's going on. There's a t there's a two guys. One of them is the target, and the other is a cat. But I I'm gonna have to frenzy that arrow to drag them out. And unfortunately, it drags the guy that was frenzy to me. But don't worry, I could frenzy him away. But he he seems to be looking this way. And now the captain's going to deal with that guy. The guy went mute me, and just two hits, he killed him. them uh, is depends on if I can separate them Someone and seeing another guy come up here I'm gonna friendly him to get the get them to kill him and then uh, he died in one hit Wow imagine if I try to go up against him now the target is separating himself away from the cat he's an easy kill and that's the end of this quest really the reward is uh, basically all the loot in this cave if you have already discovered it then this quest has been uh, pointless so we, so it's time to head out. Oh yeah, also know that do not kill the cam if you haven't gotten a quest from, from a guy in solitude. Where if you kill a cam, the reward is you have to have get to have him as your, as your companion. I think yeah. But that's the end of this quest, really. Thank you for watching, and uh, and um, I don't know. Bye.